and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. Today, we're going to be doing a video that you guys have seemed to have loved since I started doing them the content previews for the current month. So we did our October content preview. You guys you guys went crazy with it. We did our November content preview. You guys went crazy with it. We did our December, you guys went crazy with it. So we gotta be doing our January content preview. I did not do one yesterday because I had a lot of videos lined up, but today seems like the perfect day for our January content preview. Yo guys, as a whole, there's a lot with January. It's, it's, it's weird, right? Most people consider Madden kind of hitting its best promo in Zero Chill. January actually releases the most content, I think, out of any point of Madden. The only difference is between January and the first week of February, like I said, the most content you'll ever see in Madden. The difference is, is that it's all bracketed into three different promos. So the largest promo overall is the Christmas promo, but January involves like three to four promos. Well, January and the first week of February, but I'm not gonna be covering the February part. I will hint at it, but for the most part, I'm gonna be covering the January part. Now guys, before we get into the video, Always remember, go down below, smash that subscribe button, turn that Nodi bell, boys. Can we get Nodi Gang any stronger than it already is? Nodi Gang is at an all-time high as of late, guys. Remember, my end-year goal for Madden this year is to have 25,000 subscribers. We are at 16,000. We just hit it, and now we're almost at 16.2. You guys are going wild with it. Can we get 17K by the end of the week, as well as 25 by the end of the year? And guys, don't forget, the best feeling in the whole world is always when you guys smash the like button. If you guys are here for Nodi Gang, like the video right now. I agree, nothing's better than putting that video up and seeing like 50 to 100 likes in the first few minutes i know there's thousands of you guys in the first hour so make sure you guys smash that like button and comment down below say what's up comments are alive and well again without poodin miss being here anymore but guys let's get into this video so the month of january i will eventually i will take us over to mutthead at some point to go over some of the cards and then come back to here and i'll, I'll cover it all you guys will see how i do this all right guys so pretty much the way this month works is it's a quick hitter month like it's what you think should last long does not and what you think is going to be long is not as well as what feels pretty long is also not if you guys if that even made sense to you guys so pretty much last year this saturday which is two days from now the playoff promo would have dropped now remember this year so we started a little bit everything this year started slightly later than years before now with that being said at this current rate, the playoff promo could drop anywhere between the next two days to the next five to six days. So the playoff promo is coming. Now the playoff promo is a massive promo. It spans about three to four weeks and it, it goes through other promos. The playoff promo is gonna introduce plenty of 95 overalls, plenty of masters, plenty of legend playoff masters. It's going to introduce playoff LTDs for performances per week. So that, that promo is month long. That's on in the majority of the playoffs. Now, during that promo, what will drop around like the 13th or 14th is going to be the Team of the Year promo. Now, if you know what Team of the Year promo is, Team of the Year promo is the culmination of all the Team of the Week, the Team of the Weeks this year. So, at the end of Team of the Weeks, which just happened with the playoffs coming, there will be a Team of the Year. Team of the Year is pretty much all the best players of the year at their positions. Now, the way Madden does this isn't exactly like the way it should be done. Like, let's say the best player on paper was Drew Brees at quarterback. Let's just say it was, and it was Lamar. Let's say it was Lamar. Perfect example, actually. Lamar Jackson was the best quarterback this year. He probably won't get a team of the year card because at the moment he has a chance he, he will probably get the nfl mvp card which is another thing that comes right after as well as he has a chance to be super bowl mvp if they go all the way so they will not give him a team of the year card there's too much risk involved there so team of the year might be let's say quarterback drew Brees. he wasn't the best quarterback he was injured for a little bit but he was one of the best quarterbacks that's more than that's more than not how that's more than often i should say if that even makes sense of how they run team of the year so remember this so between january 3rd and 6th more, more than likely we'll be getting a playoff promo by january 13th through 16th we'll be getting a team of the year promo by january 25th we'll be getting the super bowl promo now don't say the super bowl doesn't start the 25th i know the super promo typically starts the week before the super bowl they have plenty of solo challenges leading up to like roads to the super bowl and stuff and the super bowl promo like the culmination of it ends in like the beginning of february now another thing that is hinted at is going to be the nfl honors promo then the nfl honor promo is typically the first week of february but you can start preparing for it and everything in the end of January. So that kind of that kind of applies here. So the way it pretty much works is that there's a ton of stuff coming out with all this stuff. Now I'm going to head over to Mudhead to show you guys some of the cards and keep talking on regards to the situation. So as you guys can see here, this is the NFL playoffs. So this is the first thing that does drop in January, which is like about the first week of January. Look at all these cards. Willie McGinnis, Steve Smith, Sr., Kawan Short, LeGarrette Blunt, Eric Weddle, so on and so forth. As you can see, there is going to be an abundance of 95 overalls and 97 overalls, as well as 93s, 91s, all the way down to about like 84s and 85s. So this promo is going to impact the majority of the market. So remember, this is going 
going to give you guys players that are all top players in their positions. They're going to be close to it at bare minimum. At bare minimum, they're going to be some of the best players in their position. So, you're going to have to account for that. Now, some of these guys aren't always guys who are good right now. A lot of them are guys who are playoff heroes, let's say. So, like, to that 2012 divisional round, Vernon Davis. There aren't just guys from current days. So you can get, like, a Randall Cobb, a Fletcher Cox. You can get guys like... I mean, the top ones are more... The, these are the set ones. So, the set ones, no. But as you go up, you see these guys like Vernon Davis and Eric Weddle. Now, I don't remember if these guys were LTDs. They may have been... I think the older ones may have been LTDs. These were, like, the playoff-type heroes. Now, that's just the first thing. That's that's all that, all that content comes in one drop. Then, coming up next, you got the Team of the Year promo, which will give you guys now this. You got... Oh, this is the, the old... I did not click Ultimate Kickoff. Team of the Year promo. Okay, did it again. Let's try that one more time. There we go. So, Team of the Year promo. We're going to get guys like Bobby Wagner, Todd Gurley. Look at this. 98, 98, 97, 97, 96, 96, 96, 96, 96, 96, 96, 96. What does that tell you guys? The whole market is going to be destroyed from this pretty much. Too. We're going to get all these types of cards. Team of the Year is typically a very cool card animation type time. Very cool card card art in general. But as you guys can see, tons of 90. We're going to get 298s. I don't know if we we'll have the same format as last year. But typically, two, high, two of the highest overalls. A few more other than that. Now, the, the Team of the Year, this is my probable. We're going to end up getting like a Christian McCaffrey. And if we don't get a McCaffrey, that's because they anticipate we'll get Offensive Player of the Year. That's probably the only way we don't get a McCaffrey. But as, like I said, this is going to, just look at all this content. With January, with playoffs alone, we got a ton of content. Within the next week or so, we got triple the content. Look at all this. We got even, we got even way more. And these guys are all going to be the best players in their position, or at least close to it, with the worst player being one of the best players in the game. So that is already going to impact Madden heavily. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, when you thought that all of that, not more could come out, the Super Bowl promo starch, which introduces us to Super Bowl players of the past. Jack Tatum, Keyshawn Johnson, 97, Reggie White, 97, Franco Harris, 97, John Elway, 97, Dallas Clark, 97, Ronnie Barber, 97. Look at all these 97s and the 95s, like the, the heroes, like Marshall Lynch and guys of the past. Now, the past one, the way the Super Bowl past works, they introduce players that have been heroes in past Super Bowls. Then they have the Super Bowl present which is going to introduce the players from the current Super Bowls. So let's say it's the 49ers and the, uh, and the Ravens. You might see like, uh, what's his name? A Mar Marcus Peters. You might see a Mark Ingram. You might see a Jimmy Garoppolo. You might see a Tevin Coleman. You might see a Raheem Mustard. You might see a George Kittle. These are from the current ones. Now there's gonna be plenty that's gonna be plenty. By the way, Team of the Year Souls, a lot. Super Bowl Souls, a lot. Maybe a Blitz, possibly. New currencies, definitely. Playoff promos, a lot of solos. And then when all of that, you're like, you're so overwhelmed. Then they start hinting at the NFL honors, which is literally right afterwards. Like while doing this, you gotta worry about that, which is last year, again, they released Darius Leonard, Saquon Barkley, Aaron Donald, Patrick Mahomes, Andrew Love, Chris Long. Now, these guys were all 98s and the 97 ones, I believe that was comeback player of the year. And then Chris Long was man of the year. So typically the best ones MVP, which MVP I believe was a 99. Overall, it was not only powered up, it was 99. I don't know if they're doing it again like that, but this could easily be this year, like Lamar Jackson. Rookie of the year, we're really not sure about just yet. It's kind of up in the air at this point. And then as far as offensive player of the year, which I believe is that's what... Did they not give us a reward for offensive player of the year? I don't Oh, I'm, I'm not seeing it. I mean, I, I could be wrong unless there's not an offensive player of the year, but I could have swore there was. Unless they just didn't give us one. But guys, that pretty much wraps up this. Let's head on over to the Madden screen. You guys got an idea for kind of what these cards are going to be like and what we could be expecting in the month of January. Back on the Madden screen, guys. What can you be expecting as far as on the Madden screen? So sets, there's going to be Super Bowl sets like AFC. No, for the playoff promo, there's going to be an AFC and NFC uh, playoff promo set more than likely. Then there's going to be, for the team of the year, there's going to be the offensive, the defensive. There's going to be a set where if you put in the collectibles you got from the Souls, you get one free team of the year player. You usually get one free team of the year player. It's going to be set to exchange uh, three of the lower ones for one of the bigger ones. There's going to be fantasy packs, probably going to be house rules. As far as the playoff promo, again, there's going to be packs, sim, similar things with exchange sets, build up for things. And then with the Super Bowl promo, there'll probably be like last year there was a blue and a red team. Blue and red had to verse for who can get and pick a player. And whichever team won more solo challenges ended up getting an upgraded card, which as YouTubers will probably all band together to tell you guys to pick one team so we all can get rewarded for that. Now, that was one cool thing. They did introduce Super Bowl rings as a currency last year, so you can probably expect another currency like that. I know with three promos in one month, there's going to be a currency. And then as well with the Super Bowl promo, there'll be collections to get the past players. Last year, they gave us an upgradable card like Franco Harris. They gave us Elway, Dallas Clark. You were able to upgrade them based on how the Super Bowl um, blue or red teams performed, as well as probably some more house rules and some other stuff because we have not gotten any house rules that was like super cool with players in quite a while. So they're probably saving it for something like this. 
And then, like I said, NFL Honors is more like the first week of February, but that's still going to coincide a little bit with this month because it kind of comes in time with the end of the year of Madden, the end of the uh, regular season or the playoffs, I should say. So you're going to be expecting that quite, uh, quite soon after that. Now, there's not going to be much sets and stuff for that, but it will be there. Those are typically cards you just pull. There'll be some kind of sets for them, but it won't be like anything specific. Like, I mean, maybe there's some cool shit that'd be really cool. They did like a, a master or something with it, but I doubt they will. But guys, I think that pretty much covers the bulk of what I want to cover in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps you guys out with the month of January to really comprehend what we are expecting for this month. I, I love doing this video for you guys. I, I feel like it definitely gives you guys insight for the month so you guys can prepare your coins, prepare your wallets and your pockets for this month. Now guys, remember if you're right to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell for your daily news, tips, coins, market, cards, game, everything. Gameplay is a little less. Don't, don't kill me for that. But make sure to subscribe and turn on that noti bell. As well as make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Like I said, the best way to show support on any channel, especially for my Nodi gang, is always to like the video. The more you guys like, the better my channel does. And for all you guys that come here in the first few minutes, like the thousand of you guys that are here in the first hour, if you guys all like the video, it would do tremendous. So I'd appreciate it if you guys couldn't comment down below any questions you may have. That's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.